During the course of every fighter's career, they've had to deal with fear. Whether or not they will admit it, even the most intimidating and ferocious competitor has had to fight, flee from, or face their fear in the ring. The impact of fear on performance and the role it plays in the sport is something that simply cannot be denied. It has kept contenders from winning championships and has prevented bright prospects from realizing their full potential. Fear can't be suppressed or wished away, but should instead be embraced in order to harness its power and purpose. And part of harnessing that power is understanding it. Fear and the way that it manifests itself is born out of self-preservation. It was the way our ancestors were able to adapt to their surroundings, chasing down their prey for food or running from their food, their predator, to keep from being dinner. It was all about survival. Out of this instinctual breeding ground came the human body's fight or flight response. This is your natural way of coping with stressful surroundings or a dangerous environment, or your body's way of preparing to do battle. What is happening to the body, in essence, is the frontal cortex sends a message that releases a wave of stress hormones, adrenaline, and cortisol. These hormones elevate your blood sugar levels and release a quick burst of energy in preparation to fight. This release also causes the heart to pump up to four times the amount of blood, from five to nearly 20 quarts per minute, to increase oxygen and energy flow. The blood also takes a different route away from the skin, stomach, and kidneys because they're not necessary for survival at this point. The blood instead is rerouted to the muscles and vital organs to prepare to mount or defend against a physical attack. Blood pressure, heart rate, and breathing rates increase to prepare for the body for combat. The body's nervous system kicks into high gear and every bit of glucose is converted into fuel, creating the perfect environment for a fighting machine. To call this process amazing would be an understatement. As a fighter, how could you look at that process and not be in awe of how perfectly it fits your profession? It is an entirely natural instinct passed down to you from generation to generation that specifically prepares you to fight. Most people don't have an outlet suited to let this play out in their day-to-day -day lives. They don't have a need or way to release this physiological reaction, so they usually create undue stress, hate their boss, get irritated with their neighbors, yell at other commuters on their way to work, and create a heightened anxiety and stress in their lives. Still, many fighters struggle with this fear. The physical reaction, alert nervous system, rapid heartbeat, increased sweating, etc., etc., all feel foreign because they're not everyday emotions, but they actually couldn't be more natural. Fear that is properly channeled is one of the most powerful tools a fighter has when he or she is entering the ring. Fighters all deal with these feelings of fear in different ways. Some listen to music to take their mind out the anxiety. Others surround themselves with friends and peers to serve as a distraction. Some fighters might even talk themselves up in an attempt to project confidence instead of feeling stress, while others might quarantine themselves away off into seclusion where they can quietly deal with their fear on their own. None of these methods or tricks are particularly right or wrong. They're just methods to cope. The important thing is to fully recognize fear for what it is. Embrace it and feed it. When it comes down to fight time, don't try to suppress it and bottle it up. Use it. Let your mind fire on all cylinders. Feed the adrenaline monster. Enjoy the fact that your body is fully preparing you. The very fact of knowing why your fear manifests itself through your body's response and emotions helps you understand these feelings and will allow you to lean into them rather than fight against them. That means that more of your energy and focus can go into the fight instead of dealing with how you're feeling. The important thing is what you do with your fear. Legendary trainer Custy Amato once said that the hero and coward both feel the same thing, but the hero uses his fear, projects it onto his opponent while the coward runs. It's the same thing, fear, but it's what you do with it that counts. Don't pretend it doesn't exist because then you're lying to yourself. Don't ignore it because then you're not embracing it or able to use it to its fullest. Most importantly, don't let it consume you. Find comfort in the fact that everyone has it. You're not alone, and any fighter who says they don't get scared is lying. Maybe they've learned how to live with it, maybe they enjoy the adrenaline rush, and even fully understand the mental and physical benefits of the fight or flight mechanism. Custy Amato's protege, Mike Tyson, struggled with fear throughout his entire career. 
He was very open about his own feelings of anxiety from his amateur days all the way through to his professional career. His trainer spent hours consoling him and helping him come to terms with his fear. Tyson even said himself, I'm scared every time I go into the ring, but it's how you handle it. What you have to do is plant your feet, bite down on your mouthpiece, and say, let's go. Without question, Tyson learned how to harness his fear, and it ultimately became one of his most powerful weapons. He entered nearly every bout being the one doing the intimidating and allowed his opponent's fear to do most of the damage before he even threw the first punch. We may have evolved as people, but those same basic instincts that kept man alive before technology and sophistication took over still dominate human physiology. They are innate in us. Whether we're swinging clubs or throwing punches, survival is still at the core of our existence. This especially applies to fighters who seek out the experience to go toe-to-toe, expose themselves or their opponent, and square off in front of hundreds or even thousands of spectators. Those that succeed discover that the greatest challenge wasn't an opponent, but their own emotions, headlined by fear. That's what makes winning that much more powerful, because once you've conquered your own unbridled emotions, everything else is child's play, with fear being just another toy.